हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एच टी एल टी इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टूडे हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर्स पार्ट वन इन प्रीवियस पार्ट मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर्स आर एक्सप्लेन ब्रीफली हेयर आई एक्सप्लेन ब्रीफली अबाउट हाई वोल्टेज डायरेक्ट करेंट एच बी डी सी सर्किट ब्रेकर एंड आर्थ लीकेज सर्किट ब्रेकर रिवेरेबल हॉर्न गैप फ्यूज हाई वोल्टेज डी सी सर्किट ब्रेकर इन ए सी सिस्टेम द वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड करेंट बिकम जीरो फॉर टॉइस एज ए रिजल्ट द आर्क इज पॉइंट इजिली बट इन डी सी सिस्टेम द करेंट एंड वोल्टेज नेवर बिकम जीरो फॉर दिस रीजन द ए सी सर्किट ब्रेकर इज नेवर यूज directly in dc circuit there is required some auxiliary means with ac circuit breaker to make the direct current zero here some application of auxiliary means are shown in figure 1 when the circuit breaker start opening then the switch s1 the switch s1 is closed the switch S1 is in series with inductance L3 and a previously charged capacitor C and a previously charged capacitor C this series combination of S1 L3 C circuit is connected parallel with AC circuit breaker parallel with AC circuit breaker when the switch S1 is closed the previously charged capacitor sitter discharged and instantaneous current ic and instantaneous current ic this is ic flows to the opposite direction of fault current if fault current if when the value of ic and if becomes equal in opposite direction and ic minus if Becomes zero. The arc is quenched, quenched automatically. As the principle of arc quenching in DC circuit breaker. <coughs> this is the DC supply. This is the load. This is the fault. This is S one. This is the. Uh, capacitor previously charged capacitor when it is discharged the ic flow to the opposite direction of if thus the arc <coughs> thus the current becomes become zero and the arc is quenched automatically okay next arc leakage circuit breaker arc leakage circuit breaker or elcb or ac dual current circuit breaker rccb is used to pro protect human being from arc leakage current and fire incident at home office restaurant and hospital lift the basic working principle of elcb and sensing of arc leakage current based on the theory of core balance current transformer or cvct all all the phase conductors and neutral from supply end toward load passing through a closed core shown in figure 2 and act as a primary winding of current transformer and another coil known as search or sensing coil situated on the same core act as the secondary of the same current transformer again this secondary circuit of the current transformer connected with a sensible trip relay by which the tripping mechanism is activated here in figure 2 the activity activity of a double pole elcv is explained and in figure 3 a four pole elcv is explained elcv suitable 
for effectively earth system here in the case of four pole e four pole lcb all the three phases and the neutral are passed through the closed core and act as a primary of current transformer where there is no leakage current in the circuit they are the vector sum of all the three phases will be equal to zero and equal to the neutral current in the other word there remain no residual current due to the ampere turn of phases and the ampere turn of neutral are equal and opposite direction that exists no resultant alternating flux in the core there <coughs> there are no resultant alternating flux in the core due to the fault of insulation if there exist an arc leakage current then the phase then the leakage current returns back to the system through the earth conductor then the phase leakage current is added with load current so the vector sum of total current is no more zero and as a result alternating flux is created due to primary induced primary ampere turn this alternating flux is linked with secondary sensing coil and emf is induced in the secondary charge or sensing coil which energizes the trip relay to trip the circuit there are two types of elcb are available double pole and four pole for ac Uh, ratings are 6 ampere 10 ampere 16 ampere 25 ampere 32 ampere 40 ampere 63 ampere 100 ampere sensitivity sensitivity is 30 milliampere 100 milliampere 300 milliampere in general condition 30 milliampere sensitivity elcb is selected for damp condition 100 milliampere 300 milliampere sensitivity lc lcb are selected the combination of rccb and mcb is called rcbo okay next here it is figure 2 basic principle of operation of earth leakage circuit breaker it is double pole here is line and neutral here it is the relay here it is the breaker contact line and at uh, line and neutral line and neutral when here it is uh, earth fault assumed earth fault then the then a human is touch here the current passes through the earth and go back to the earth of the neutral and here in the primary circuit of the current transformer is energized and a alternating flux is induced in the core of the cvct this alternating flux energizes the sensing coil and the sensing coil energizes the relay and the breaker is just tripped this is the basic principle of the earth leakage circuit breaker this is the earth leakage current flows through the human body and goes back to the system earth to the neutral okay next 
Here is a picture of four pole LCB. Here it is CVCT. It is the secondary of the CVCT. Here it is sens sensing coil. Here it is relay. And the R, Y, B, and neutral four are passes through the CVCT to the load. And there is a test button. When this is energized for any earth leakage current, then the sensing coil energized and the relay also energized and activated on the circuit breaker. This is the picture of a four pole ELCB. Okay, next. Here is types of tripping mechanism. When the relay indicates a fault. It is essential prompt and reliable tripping of circuit breaker. The tripping coil is incorporated in all circuit breaker, which when energized releases the latch holding the breaker in closed position. For energizing the trip coil, there requires a reliable source of tripping energy. There are two types of sources of energy, either from a separate DC source, which is supplied from a separate DC battery bank shown in figure 4. This is called DC shunt trip mechanism. In this system, the relay closes the trip circuit and thus the trip coil is energized. Second, or by system AC supply from current transformer shown in figure 5, this is called a AC series trip mechanism. In this system, CT, relay and trip coil are connected in series. The trip coil in this system, CT, relay and trip coil are connected in, connected in series. The trip coil is kept shorted by relay contact. When the relay is activated, the short circuit is op opened and the trip coil is energized by the same relay current which is supplied by CT. For the smaller and lower voltage circuit breaker which is installed in less important locations, AC series stripping is employed. Ok, next. Types of tripping mechanism, here is the picture of DC shunt trip and here is the picture of AC series trip. Here is a tripping circuit uh, operated energized by battery when, when the contract the relay is energized the contract close the tripping circuit and the sun trip coil is energized and here AC series trip circuit here the trip circuit is shorted by this contract of relay when the relay is ener energized by CT then it, it's lift up the contact and the trip circuit is energized and the trip coil is energized by the same current of relay and CT. Thus, the tripping is activated. This is called AC series trip and this is called DC sun trip. Okay, next. The following interlocking arrangements are provided by the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker cannot be isolated or connected to bus bar until it is off. Until all the secondary circuits are plugged in, the circuit breaker cannot be closed or on. Until the full contact is made at the isolating contacts, the circuit breaker cannot be closed or on. The PT tank cannot be opened unless the PT is isolated from the unit. The shutter automatically covers the PT high voltage socket so when the PT is withdrawn. The shutter automatically covers the incoming and outgoing buses so when the breaker is in isolated position. Okay, next. 
Here I explained about, about re-variable horn gap fuse for protection of distribution transfer or for voltage up to 66 kV and capacity up to 2500 kV today horn gap re-variable fuses are used satisfactorily. These type of fuses are used in outdoor high voltage installation after gang operated isolators on the incoming line for replacement of fuse. The fuses are made of tin copper wire. It is changeable <coughs> after burnt out so it is called rewearable fuse. The fuses are connected with horn gap so it is called horn gap fuse. The fuses are connected horizontally so that the arc is generated during the burning of fuse can spread toward upward direction and extinguish quickly. The arrangements of these fuses are shown in figure 6. Okay, next. Here it is a picture of rearable horn gap fuse. This is figure 6. There it is fuse where there is the distance A between the horn gap, distance D, distance B, distance C. Here is the distances A, B, C, D for 11 kV, 33 kV, 66 kV. For 11 kV, A is equal to 20 centimeter, B 25 centimeter, for C 60 centimeter, D 38 centimeter. And for 33 kV, A is 35 centimeter, B 70 centimeter, C 78 centimeter, D 60 centimeter. For 33 kV, A 35 centi centimeter, B 70 centimeter, C 78 centimeter, D 60 centimeter. There is D. And for 66 kV, A 50 centimeter, that is A. And B 100 centimeter, this is B. C 90 centimeter, this is C. And D 75 centimeter. This is this is rearable horn gap fuse data. Thank you for watching the video. In the next part, I shall discuss about uh, circuit break more about circuit breaker. This is a very vast subject. It, it is uh, hard to complete in one chapter the total circuit breaker. Please cooperate with me. Okay. If you think the video is useful to you, then please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.